Welcome back. There are many complaints of chaos being reported from Delhi's IGI Terminal 3 amidst the holiday rush. Passengers have been taking to social media to describe their ordeal, especially with long lines for security checks. Now, the DA, DIAL and the Ministry of Civil Aviation have drawn up an immediate plan of action. Civil Aviation Minister Jyotiraditya Sindhya even conducted a spot check today at the airport and assess the situation. He spoke exclusively with CNN News 18's Pallavi Ghosh about his surprise check and what lies in store. We have been seeing the social media outrage over the last four days. You make this visit inside. Are you confident that the four steps, uh, you know, kind of announced by the government would be good enough? Well, first of all, let me say that uh, I had taken a meeting last week to make sure that uh, we ease off the congestion at our airports. I've made a physical visit today. Uh, these are not steps that have been announced by government alone. I have taken a close to a two-hour meeting with all stakeholders in the aviation ecosystem, be it CISF, be it BCAS, be it DGCA, be it the airport operator, which is Dial, be it all the airlines together. And we've actually done a, a full process study in terms of where the bottlenecks are occurring. How do we ease up those bottlenecks? Uh, in summary, uh, succinctly to, uh, to put it across to you, we have 16 gates at uh, the uh, departure end here. And this becomes a choke point in many manners. Only 14 gates were for passengers and two were for crew and specially abled. We have now increased that to 16 gates for passengers and an additional two for crew and specially abled. I have also mandated that we need to be able to put up boards across every gate that talks about the weight time at every single gate and therefore if I'm a passenger and I get off maybe at gate one but I see that gate eight has a less wait time okay. I will proceed to gate eight and enter the airport from there I've also told the airport operator to make sure that we have ushers in place that can direct passengers I see to that less, today. to less uh, but you also have this Digi Yatra app you think that's going to streamline because there are complaints there are, that the there interface are, there, yeah. are, there are the greater the adoption of Digi Yatra uh, I think it will facilitate in many ways all the crowds that we see both at the entry point as well as the security check-in. We then move to the second bottleneck yes. and the, the second that's bottleneck where the security check takes is place, the yeah. security check-in. Uh, the, the, issue, the key issue there is the security check-in process and the ATRS automatic, automatic uh, tray retrieval system. Yes. Uh, there is a clogging there in terms of capacity. So originally we had 11 plus 2, 13 in place. Today, in the last five days, we have increased that to 16. Over the next two days, we are going to try and see if there's enough space in between the two lines of the ATRSS to create an additional one. So hopefully, we will go up to 17. I have then mandated the airport operator to make sure that certain areas are freed up. The problem is the uh, security check. Because what happens is you and I will go with a handbag. The frisking happens within 20 seconds, 30 seconds. We've reached the other end of the line. Yes. But our bag is still in the tray coming out. Do you also need to sensitize the CISF staff there? Because we don't want to compromise so, on security. So but CISF has put in the requisite amount of staff as we have increased our capacity from the current 13 to today's capacity of 16 to hopefully in the next four days capacity of 17. CISF will provide the adequate amount of staff. There will be no compromise on that. But the key issue here very clearly, uh, Pallavi, is without doubt that you have customers that are waiting to travel, you have airlines that are waiting to provide a service. The funnel in between is the airport operator. And the airport operator cannot be a clog between a desire of customers to travel and airlines to give that service. So I have very clearly articulated that these are the steps that we need to have in place. We cannot compromise with that because the airport's air operator's responsibility is to be able to provide that seamless, efficient process for you or me as a customer to go from one city to the other to buy the airline without having clogs at the airport. I have to ask you this question because this is a concern raised by passengers. Because of the clogging, many of them don't reach the boarding gate on time and the airlines are forcing so them to I, buy another ticket. So Any I, issue so, you've given to so, the... Yeah. So as I said to you, we have gone from... Uh, 11 plus 2, 13 security processes of ATRS. Airlines, is normal. can you request the so, airlines? So, so, A, B, we have also said that we have, we have increased that to 16 today. We are going to go to 20 in the next 10 days or so. 
so i i hopefully fingers crossed this position should ease up also you have to keep in mind that we've gone from a covid era of zero passengers to actually surpassing the pre covid number of 4 lakh 7000 to almost 4 lakh 25000 passengers per day that is a v shaped recovery and it's a great sign of the confidence in the civil aviation environment however we cannot allow airport operator to be a clog in that process and that is a very clear mandate that i have given to them on the 7th there has been some progress from there but then the the missives that and the action points that we have decided together as a collective today hopefully we'll see resolving of this in the next edition I also want to go across to my colleague Nikhil Akwani, who's been taking stock of the situation, especially at T3. Nikhil, what uh, what does it look like now? Give us also a sense of what the uh, aviation minister witnessed when he was there for his spot check. So, uh, Shivani, we are currently reporting from the T3 of the Delhi airport and I would like to show you the scenes from this particular terminal. As of now, there is a comparatively less crowd and as uh, the directions have been given by Civil Aviation Minister uh, Jyoti Raditya Sindhya, the impact of the same is now visible because of the obvious reasons. He was here since this morning at about 8.30 a.m. He took stock of the situation after many of the people, in fact, passengers complain on social media platform that they, there is chaos all around inside the T3 airport and the overcrowding continues to take place. But now many of the measures have been taken. Again, uh, to reiterate for all those uh, viewers who are now watching us on CNN News 18, so at this particular site, there are uh, 16 of the entrance gate. And as uh, told by Mr. Minister, 14 were operative for the passenger and two were in use for the crew members. But now all 16 have been put to use for the passenger and additional two of the gates have been opened up for the specially abled people and also for the crew member. Hmm. So this is one such thing which has been... Uh, 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 taken by the officials. Another thing is of the DJ Yatra. It is the app uh, which has been mandated by uh, Jyoti Radit Sindhya for the smooth entrance inside the Delhi airport. And it is a digital entry, so to say. So it is mandatory and the uh, government officials have been saying that greater the adoption of that particular app, the better facilitation will be seen inside uh, and uh, outside the airport too. Apart from it, ushers have been deployed to help people as to which gate is the concern for the passenger to enter from if there is clogging at one particular gate then he or she should be diverted to other gate and they should be in touch with the command and the control center so the ushers and the helpers have to be deployed but as far as the security check is concerned shivani it is the main point of the clogging and the directions have been given to increase the machines from 14 to 16 to 17 and the mr minister has also gone on to say that in the days to come they are going to take up the atrs machine automatic tray retrieval system machine to 20 as well. This will help decongest uh, this particular airport because on a daily basis uh, we have been told that from zero number of passengers during the COVID lockdown it has also surpassed the number of passengers of the pre-COVID era. During the pre-COVID 4 lakh 7 thousand were the passengers on a daily basis which used to travel from the Delhi airport but now the passenger number has gone to 4 lakh 25 thousand which also shows a faith in the civil aviation ministry and also the boosting of the economy, so to say. So many of these steps have been taken uh, by okay. the government official and the clear-cut mandate has been given by Jyoti Raditya Sindhya to implement these steps at the earliest. Back to you, Shivani. All right, Nikhil. Thanks a lot for that live report. We're cutting across.